So, hello. I'm Aras Zainiev. Uh, I'm instructor of biology um, at Ada School. By profession, I'm a molecular microbiologist and geneticist. So, my students asked me to do a small uh, interview based on their questions. Here we go. First question, what are you reading right now? So, I'm reading this book called uh, 12 Diseases That Changed Our World by uh, Sherman. Uh, obviously, it, uh, it's based on uh, uh, mostly uh, microbial diseases, infectious diseases, which is very relevant to current uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic, right? So, uh, I'm reading it to to get more and better understanding about this uh, worldwide uh, wide, uh, distributed disease is about, more the deeper, of course. And I started my video blogging recently, so I'm, uh, I'm probably going to be, uh, make uh, several uh, series about these diseases in history. How is the time going for your for you, so how is the time going for you in quarantine? In fact, it's uh, surprisingly well. Uh, well, I'm uh, doing my online lessons, of course, to, to other students. Uh, and apart from that, I have my own um, uh, projects, which one of them is uh, uh, translating uh, uh, fundamental uh, biology undergraduate graduate textbook to Azerbaijani language. It's been two years now that uh, we are working, our um, um, our team is working on that. And uh, yes, the uh, video blogging and book readings. So in fact, the quarantine times, surprisingly good for me. I'm, I'm working hard and productive. But after a while, I guess, some maybe weeks ago, it becomes a Boring, so we need to see some people around. With which person, with which famous person would you like to have dinner? Well, I'm not a fan of a persona. I'm not a, I don't have idols. Um, I would prefer, um, I love uh, ideas, ideologies. I love, uh, love philosophies. Um, the theories that change the world that uh, makes you think differently. So, I would rather not uh, have a dinner with some specific persona, but uh, gather around with my uh, friends or interesting people, and or even my students. Uh, not even my students, but especially my students around the dinner table and talk about their interesting things. Not necessarily biology. What were you like in high school? Well, uh, I was a good student. I was a hardworking student, so mostly in top, probably one or two. Uh, I was good in mathematics, physics, biology always interested me, but I'm not sure if I was always interested in biology specifically. Probably biology got my attention later in the in, in last years of school, maybe in the 11th grade. Who is the most impressive famous person alive for you today? Well, as I say, um, it's not about people, it's not about persona. Uh, people can be uh, wrong, a single person can be wrong in several ways. So it's better to uh, stick to theories rather than persona. But Noam Chomsky is one of the people living a life, scientist, uh, political theorist, that looks at the world with very critical view and is one of the most cited uh, uh, academicians in the whole world history, in, in human history. What's your dream destination? Mm, well, my dream destination is probably nowadays, or maybe for a long time, in fact, South America. I would like to see the countries and uh, culture I especially love Spanish language and special culture, uh, so I would love to see South America. What was your dream job when you were a child? Uh, you know, in Soviet times, I was born in Soviet times, um, every children, every child would like to be a cosmonaut. So, probably my also dream was, uh, was to become a cosmonaut, but uh, realist, more realistically, I was... Sciences, uh, natural sciences, always attracted my attention 
I was also always attracted to sciences. Uh, I didn't know that I will become biologist from my very first year. Um, but in general, it was sciences. I, I liked zoology a lot. I liked the zoology books. I loved to redraw those animals and um, plant pictures from my zoology book. I very well remember that. We had their long discussions with my zoology teacher. Do you like movies or books? Well, I don't have a specific preference. Books have uh, different taste than movies. Movies, um, I don't have a preference. So it could be a good book, it could be a good movie. Uh, sometimes I would love to read the book and even watch the uh, movie that's based on that specific book. It's it, You see uh, a different interpretation of the same idea or text. If you were a city, which city would you be? Interesting question. Well, again, South America is in my mind recently. So Santiago is in child in South America. I guess I would be that city. Do you speak any other languages except English and Azerbaijani? Well, I have lived in Turkey for a long, long time, so I know Turkish very well. I've studied in Russian school, so I know Russian. Yo hablo un poquito español and ein bisschen Deutsch. What's your favorite movie and book? My favorite um, movie. My favorite movie, I guess it is uh, it's a motorcycle's diary. Uh, it is um, youth years of Che Guevara when he is uh, traveled around the South America uh, with his friend all across the South America. That's a movie that I like very much. And a book, uh, there are a lot of books that I like. The best book, probably, well, the first, the first things that comes into my mind, science. Uh, I guess I don't remember the author, but the book is about, in fact, the, uh, the title of the book is A Short History of, of Nearly Everything. This is, uh, this is a book, the, I, well, as far as I remember the book, uh, the author is biologist, and he writes essentially about everything from the perspective of um, trying to understand everything in unison, holistically. Um, that's the book uh, that comes to my mind from the first thought. If you, stay, if you could stay at one age, which age would it be? I guess this age. I'm happy with my age right now. I'm 40 years old. Uh, I'm quite productive in this age. You understand better things. Um, 40 years old, yes. What were your best and worst subjects at school? Well, yes, sciences, mathematics, physics. I was good at it. Um, I liked mathematics uh, a lot. I don't remember what was I was what was the subject I didn't like and I was worse. Mm. I don't know. What are your recommendations for students at the time of distance learning? Well, uh, distance learning. Um, in fact. It's not the distance learning that is difficult. It is the, or let's say, negative thing is not about. It's not about. It's not the distance learning. It is this uh, worldwide pandemics that is um, uh, upsetting. However, the uh, distance learning itself is very useful and try is learning how to self study independently, individually is very important in the age of information where you have all the information and in fact uh, in principle you don't need a teacher you can basically uh, find everything on the internet 
paid or non-paid for free or uh, non-free. Uh, so the self-distance learning probably teaches, uh, not probably, but uh, as teachers, we are trying to always um, induce students to learn by themselves. And distance learning probably will uh, improve even more. Of course, you need uh, uh, real school because social uh, skills, uh, how to behave with people, having friends. And um, in fact, the very important part of the learning is social behavior. So, of course, uh, one cannot only learn life. Uh, which should be the basic uh, uh, aim of the schooling, right? To prepare students for the new, for the future, for the life. Uh, of course, one cannot learn everything by distance learning. You need to have in the social context. So that would be so. In that perspective, I would love to also go back to the school, see my students, have a social environment, and my colleagues. But distance learning, distance learning is very advantageous. Uh, you need you you don't lose time coming to the school and going back. So make use of it. Make use of these uh, difficult times. Make best of it. And I hope you I will see you in a month. Goodbye.